Hello everyone, my name is Marty Reyes and I'm one of the automation specialists here at Empire. And today I'd like to talk to you about the Tossie Box product line. And in specific, we're going to be talking about remote access and VPNs. So let's dive into that right now. So as we turn and look at the Tossie Box product line, we're going to find that it scales from small to big. Let's see how that happens and why we use Tossie Box. And one of the main reasons we use TossieBox is because it simplifies all of our IoT needs. From big to small, it makes it fast and easy to use. So TossieBox uses a lock and key concept. So we're all familiar with locks and keys because we use them every day. You have a lock, you have a key. The key opens the lock, right? Exactly what happens here. When you insert the key into your remote site, to your computer on a remote site, it will automatically seek out and find that lock and make a connection. But it's not just any connection, right? It's a safe and secure connection. You're establishing a VPN tunnel. VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And that's exactly what it is. It's, it's this tunnel that's built from one side to the other side. From one device to another device. It's safe and secure and that's the primary reason why we chose to partner with Tossie Box in our remote access and VPNs. Here's the product line. In the upper right hand corner you have the lock 150 and then moving to the middle you have the lock 200. Just below that is the lock 210 and then to the right of that is the lock 250 and then over on the left hand corner you have the lock 500 and then just below it the big daddy of them all the central lock so let's take a closer look at the locks and the available locks that we have now the lock itself resides on the machine side and the available locks that we have starting on the left we have the lock 150 series the lock 150 allows for VPN throughput of up to 10 megabits per second and has a maximum of 10 concurrent VPN connections. And there in the middle, we have the LOCK 200 series. There's three units available for this. The LOCK 200, the LOCK 210, and the LOCK 250. The 200 series allows for a VPN throughput anywhere from 15 to 30 megabits per second, depending on the model. And it allows for a maximum of 50 concurrent VPN connections. The LOCK 210 and the lock 250 also have digital IO. And finally, on the right hand side, we have the lock 500 series, and the 500 series has two units the 500 and the 500i. They have a VPN throughput of 70 megabits per second, and they also allow for a maximum of 50 concurrent VPN connections, and they also have digital IO. And the LOCK 500i has a built-in LTE modem as well as dual SIM slots. Now let's turn around and look at the other side. So we looked at the machine side and on the other side we have the user side. The user side is the remote side and that's where the keys are. So let's see what available options we have on this side. Starting on the left side we have a USB key. This is the hardware key. It's light and durable. And then in the middle, we have a mobile client, which you can use for remote access. And then finally, on the right side, we have the soft key. Now, the soft key has a huge advantage. It kind of operates ex similar to the hardware key on the left, except for you can actually email this. This is really convenient. Let's say you have the case where you have to do some remote access. You have a technician, but he's on the other side of the country. How can you get him access to your remote site? Very simple with a Tossie Box soft key. You can generate a soft key, you can email it to him, and then after a handshake for authentication, he'll have complete access or the access that you grant him to your remote site. Fast, easy, and secure. So with these building blocks, you start to get a bunch of locks out in the field, and then the keys associated with those locks, and then you start building up all these networks. But how do you keep track of everything? Tossie Box provides building blocks for that as well. On the left-hand side, we have the virtual central lock. 
and on the right side, the hardware version of the central lock. The virtual central lock is just the software and you can install that on your own system. On the right hand side, you have the hardware version where the software comes pre-installed. So we looked at some building blocks. We looked at the locks that are available for the machine side. We looked at the keys, which are available at the user side. And then we looked at the central lock, which brings it all together. But building can be hard or it can be easy. And I want to show you just how easy it is to build with Tossie Box. Building a virtual private network doesn't have to be hard, but it should be safe and secure. Let's see. Starting in the upper left hand corner, you can have one key matched to an unlimited number of locks which reside at the machine side. Think of it this way. You have a house. It has several doors. You can have the locks on those doors keyed so that way one key fits them all. Likewise with Tossie Box. You can see in the upper left hand corner there is one key. It is matched to three different locks. So that one key has access to all of those locks. So let's look at the flip side of that. You can have several keys accessing one single lock. Think of it this way. You go to a hotel and they give you a card key, right? That card key opens up your door. And there's this night door that every guest has access through with their card key. Exactly the same principle here. Several keys open up the same lock. So what about administration? Tossiebox gives you admin control down to the lock, port, and device level. A good way to think of this, a parent giving access control to their kids on their phone. Depending on their age, they're going to limit their access to certain applications. And then finally on the left, we have the case where you need a constant connection. Let's say you're doing data collection or some type of video streaming where you need a constant connection all the time. That's where you're going to employ the server. So with Tossie Box and the central lock, you cover the whole spectrum of insight. Whether you're collecting data for sensors or doing data acquisition, analytics, or cloud computing. The central lock brings it all together in one central spot, giving you the ability to manage all your devices from one location, one central location, the central lock. Let's see how that happens. On the left-hand side, there in the middle, you have a central lock. Below it, there's a couple users, and they have access to the locks that they've been granted access to. On the left of that, you have database servers, something like a, a data historian. And then above that, you have cloud services like uh, Microsoft Azure or AWS. And then on top of that, a control room, probably generating dashboards. And then over on the right-hand side, you have all the locks. And you can see sub-users under those locks. So the central lock can manage it all bringing it all together in one point so you can easily manage the whole network. Let's look at another application. Say you have a machine builder and he has several customers. Well, you can logically group your locks into customer groups. So you can have customer A, customer B, and you can logically manage your customer base through the central lock. So no matter where you are connected in the OT stack, Tossie Box allows you to connect your operational technology devices safe and secure. So where are you in the operational technology stack? On the left-hand side, we have machine side devices connected, whether it's a Waggle device, whether it's Siemens, Honeywell, AB, Snyder, it doesn't matter. You still can connect using a Tossie Box device. Moving on, you could be on Windows or an Apple machine and still connect. How about if you're collecting data using AWS or Azure? How about if you're doing higher analytics like machine learning or visualization using software like Wonderware or Factory Talk or Niagara? Tossiebox still has a solution for you. So whether you're doing remote access, data acquisition, 
the Internet of Things, or you're anywhere on your operational technology stack, TossiBox has your key. So we looked at the TossiBox product line and saw how safe, easy, and secure it really is. If you're in need of remote access or a VPN, please don't hesitate to contact us here at Empire. One of our sales reps or application specialists will be more than willing to help you if you have any questions. Thank you.